A question of character. character. Death sucks. The official assessment from a polter guy. Who is it? Dead. Polter guy says boo. But only to those that deserve it. Piss yourself. Polter guy is warranted to commit this action to little Mimi. Mimi. Polter guy accuses Mimi's father for causing his death. So they all shall suffer. The Sardinis. Little Tony Sardini just wants to have a good time. How about a cool time? Fry them. Preloaded scares within everyday objects. Intended to fright doo-doo monsters. Beds of teeth. The horrors of adultery. Polter guy is intent on spooking vengeance. Vito. A man that does not oil his robots. And that is not a euphemism. He really does not oil his robots for his skateboard factory. Instead using cheap parts and dry robots. A factor in former skater Poltergeist's demise. Vito shall experience fear, causing him to desert his family, saving only himself. Poltergeist hides in the camouflage of ghost transparency, only showcasing his presence through fright. Basketball. Two points, Mimi. Guess what's cooking, Flo? Your ass. Fry them. Bolter guy loves his job, spiking his own head. The wicked shall not rest. However, Vito does not mind the unrest because he is rich. Purchasing brand new homes within seconds with personalized moving trucks. Poltergei moves as well, right into Mimi's body. Zombie eyes. Poltergei gathers his ammo within the hellish dungeons of nothing. Sticky green ectoplasm of afterlife. Spells. He resurvives this nether region to reach the plane of existence using a nifty summered salt combined with ghost gliding, a sort of skating slide. Poltergeist maintains a positive attitude, dressing himself in a fashionable ripped jeans and leather jacket combo, styling his ghostly skull into a green crew cut, doing the dance, intruding the house, because dude, the slime balls deserve it. Die, Mimi. Mimi does not actually die. Poltergeist only simulates killing and couch licking, while Tony violently twists and spins his own neck, his adrenaline running so high that he does not even recognize the pain. The Sardinis are easy prey, but not their dog. No matter. He shall be fed. Dog off. Poltergei utilizes instant nourishment, but also instant fright. Voodoo. Fear his fear grenades and his gifts. A fright. Super scare. Enough to scare the ecto out of someone. Polter guy needs this ecto to survive, but at least he knows kung fu. Or at least a kick to fight ecto beasts that cannot be frightened, but can be kicked. Super kick! Nothing shall stop Polter guy's terror. Sure, it does not necessarily cease production of Vito's shoddy skateboards, but it does satiate Polter guy's desires for a moment. And that's all that matters. Power moderate. Polter guy cannot attack his enemy unless they are spirit-based. But otherwise, he only attacks the psyche, which does not necessarily hurt, but can make your head explode. Your head will come back. Defense. Moderate. Poltergeist mostly avoids attacks, dodging the dungeon arms and ecto beasts. But thankfully, he can cause living things to release ecto, also regenerating his own ecto through spells. Ecto extra. But he is otherwise completely vulnerable, while still remaining unreasonably positive. Do the dance. Agility. Moderate. Poltergeist neither walks or flies, instead effectively asks astral sliding, figuratively effectively, because its effects generally cause him to collide while still remaining unreasonably positive. Do the dance! Grade C. There is nothing to fear but fear itself. And luckily for Poltergeist, he is fear itself. Utilizing 3D graphical blueprint schematics of the household, Poltergeist does research. Heed the warning. Negligence of proper regulation for goods and services may cause for your own haunting. And you may face your own spectral retribution after moving to your new mansion. Poltergeist says, boo! Mother of terrible 
Quest with me. Learn with us. Enrich your mind. Empower your inquiry. Like our material. Subscribe to our page. Put character into Quest. Return every Monday for more. A question of character.